Of course, there's a reason why the rich keep getting richer with every generation. They literally have a secret code. They have access to knowledge which has now become so secretive, not because they want to keep it a secret. It's just that they end up passing down that knowledge from their family from one generation to another. It's not their priority to give that knowledge to you. Hence, in today's episode, I am going to give you access to that knowledge. The only one condition that I have from you is that you need to stay back till the end. And I'm literally going to reward you because although the title of this video says that I'm going to give you five points that the rich pass on to their legacy to the kids in their family. But if you stay back, I'm literally going to run you through not just five points towards the end. I'm going to give you a lowdown on five more bonus points. So please stay back and listen to the entire episode. Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the Paycheck to Profit podcast. Paycheck to Profit is a community created for millennials and Gen Zs who want to improve their relationship with money, who want to change their money mindset, identify and eliminate their money blocks, who want to use law of attraction to attract more wealth into their life and for those who actually want to get rich the right way through financial literacy step by step. I'm Manish Aujja, your host, your financial abundance coach and founder of Paycheck to Profit. A quick reminder before I get to the points that this particular podcast is available both in audio and video format. So if you're listening to us on a podcast application of your choice, do not forget to check the show notes and subscribe to the YouTube channel of Paycheck to Profit. And if you're watching us, do not forget to subscribe to this podcast on any podcast application of your choice. The first thing that the rich literally teach their children is that money is absolutely abundant. Money is not scarce. So what happens is when that is the first program or the first piece of information that has been given to you as your programming, you don't look at money as a scarce resource. Money is actually a byproduct of the total value that you provide to your ecosystem. And that is also getting expanded by the value that your team, your company, your brand provides to the ecosystem. Hence, as a result of which the rich never teach their kids to chase after money, go get yourself a good career, go make a lot of money. No, the rich will always teach their kids to keep expanding the circle of value in the ecosystem that you're operating in. If you are, if your business is restricted to one city, expand it to the entire state. If it is restricted to one state, expand it to the entire region. Keep adding more value to the ecosystem. Do not stop at the entire country. Start focusing on the continent, the entire world, take one step at a time. If you've conquered an entire industry, start investing your money in an other industry so that you can actually start creating more wealth. That is why money will never, never be scarce for the rich because they focus towards money. The definition of money in itself is that money is abundant. The second thing that the rich always teach their kids, and this is literally the reason why rich keep getting richer is that money is never permanent. So, Always be careful with your money. Always be prudent with your money. Always invest your money before you save. Look at it from this point of view. Nobody can guarantee that the money that you have in your bank account will stay in your bank account. For that matter of fact, today, the world that we are living in, marketing, sales, tactics that these companies use, the network that you have, the kind of uh, people in your life, everybody is eyeing your total wealth and your bank account like hawks. The best way to save your money, the best, the best way to grow your money and the best way to safeguard your money from these external sources is to literally lose control of your money and digress that money directly from your bank account to your investment accounts and invest your money before you spend your money, which is exactly the reason why many people live a very modest life at the start of their career and 10, 15, 20 years down the line, despite having the same career as their peers. Their overall lifestyle takes a very big jump because they had invested the entire money for the first 10, 15 years. They created a security fund. They invested their money in such a manner that their money is now growing to a, in such a way that they are earning more returns from their investments every month than the actual income that they generate from their business or their career. The best investment that you can start today for free is to subscribe to the profit clan. Now, Profit Clan is an email community where you get updates about all the new podcast episodes that are released in the Paycheck to Profit network. You also get to know about new videos that are released, freebies that are launched 
and you also get exclusive invites to the profit masterclass which is a two hour long masterclass where i help you give a new definition to the word profit and start improving your relationship with money this is absolutely free there are no obligations just go to the link in the show notes and subscribe to the profit clan the clan literally feels incomplete without you the third thing that the rich always teach their kids is that you should never work on a particular subject you should always focus on getting the work done now understand this very simply all of us have the exact same resource of time of 24 hours in a day you can either work directly or you can work towards building your skill set and get people to work for you in your team now look at it from this point of view the rich are always focused towards expanding their business they are always focused towards expanding their team they are always focused towards training the team giving all the possible best resources to the team because they know that when the team works in the right manner when the team progresses when the team grows a by product of that growth is also going to reflect in their own personal wealth which is why if you want to enhance your personal wealth focus on building your skill sets of leadership focus on building your skill sets on investing focus your skill sets on building a better network which is also one of the reasons why you should definitely join the profit clan because you will get so many possibilities to connect with all the other profit clan members and you can actually network with each other and focus on building your own skill sets in a way so that you start creating an ecosystem of your team you lead your team correctly and use this particular principle of getting the work done in your life for your wealth expansion the fourth thing that the rich always tell their kids which is the reason why their kids also keep expanding their wealth is that relationships and personal health is way more important than money now again this may seem very strange to you but let me give you examples this particular teaching is extremely underrated you really need to start implementing this in your life a lot more than you can even imagine right now look at this you can literally imagine when i tell you that many many rich people and rich families are extremely religious extremely spiritual and you will find these rich people around spiritual gurus spiritual mentors and religious mentors what does that tell you they use religion and spirituality for their own personal well being their mental health is always on track or at least they are doing their best to keep that mental health on track the rich the rich families from the families who have been rich for decades and all you will observe one thing about them very rarely do you see a separation happening in a ultra rich or an uber rich family because they are very 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 particular about the partners that they choose for themselves the old rich do not tend to get separate from their partners easily also one more thing that you need to observe the rich generally make time it's obvious that the rich are extremely busy but yet you will see them make time and take proper vacations with their family members with the extended family and they'll build bonds why are they doing this because they understand the importance of relationships today we are living such busy lives that we cannot even manage to make time and have a healthy conversation with our own family members and here look at the rich we are trying to emulate the rich in every way right i want you to start emulating this you need to start fostering really strong bonds with your people who are very important to you give proper time to your close friends and your family members one more thing that i want you to observe many 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 rich people are genuinely very fit there are so many rich people who you'll see running marathons you'll see so many rich people eating really healthy food why are they doing this because they understand the importance of health muscle building for a long sustainable life and to actually live a life where you'll also be able to enjoy the wealth that you've created for yourself the fifth point is a point which is actually a very important point that i want you to understand the fifth point is that the rich will always tell their kids that the family name or the business brand is always going to be more important than any individual within the family 
and the rich will never compromise on the overall brand name of the business or the family. Now, this may sound very weird to you, right? But hold on. I'm going to give you a complete breakdown of this point in such a way that you're going to realize that the rich do not care about money as much as they care about their own brand. Money is business and business is all about brands. Look at it from this point of view. You end up being a problem child in a particular family, a wealthy family. They will go to the point that they'll banish you out of the family because they will never compromise on the overall family name. Don't believe me. I'll give you very high level examples, but you do a little re research on this. You do a little search on the search engines and you are going to find all these re all these examples very quickly. The British royal family. Have they or have they not banished a couple from their own family? The shake of one of the most famous emirates in the world, which is the first emirate that comes to your mind the moment I tell you United Arab Emirates. Go and look into the family of that sheikh and see if that sheikh has banished any of their offsprings. Why go so far? Let me give you an example from close to home, literally close to home. This, per this particular family is at a 20-30 minute drive from where I'm recording this video right now. A very prominent, a very powerful political family from Mumbai. This particular politician had three sons. And today, the youngest son is actually the scion of the family. The eldest son passed away. The second son again ended up being a problem child. And that particular son was literally estranged from the family. So I am not kidding you when I tell you that the rich will not think twice to literally disown their own family members if that particular family member is putting the entire brand of the family and the wealth of the family that they've generated at risk. And here we are. Who, I'm not saying that you should behave like this, but we should at least learn how to draw boundaries. We should learn how to accept these points and try to adapt them in our lives as, as much as possible. If you would want to, if you would want me to make more case study videos like these, if you would want me to think about more practical videos like this with regards to the Paycheck to Profit podcast, just go ahead and give me the word case study in the comments below. This entire podcast has literally been created to help you understand the practical side of money, the logical side of money. I also host another podcast called Unlock the Abundance, where I actually talk to you about the more spiritual side of money. I'll talk to you about the more philosophical side of money. I'll tell you how do you use your law of attraction tools to manifest more wealth into your life in the Unlock the Abundance podcast. But the Paycheck to Profit podcast is about having strong, straightforward, meaningful conversations about money. If you have been listening to this episode on a podcast application of your choice, go to the show notes and you'll find the link to the YouTube video of the same episode where you can go ahead and give me the word case studies in the comments. And I will, based on the feedback that I get, create more videos where I'll create more case study videos and talk about how the rich, the wealthy, the celebrities, the politicians use their wealth in their life. I'll have to be more careful. By the way, if you can guess what was the name of the family that I mentioned, the political family that I told about, the Sheikh family from the Emirates that I spoke about, or the, the problem child from the British royal family who was estranged. If you can guess any of these names, make sure to put them down in the comments. And also, while you're going to the comment section, please take a few moments and ask me your questions about money, financial investments, money mindset, or any other questions that you may have about the subject of money. Very quickly, let me remind you and consolidate all the five points that I've told you that the rich have been educating their kids for generations at a stretch. There is no dearth of money. Money is abundant. Money is never permanent. So always make sure that you invest your money before you spend it. Get the work done rather than investing your time and efforts and energy on working on the work or fourth thing being relationships and health are very important at times a lot more important than money. Never compromise on the brand name. These are the five points that the rich teach their kids. How many of these points were taught to you? How many of these points are you teaching your children? 
if you enjoyed this episode and if you've been listening till this moment make sure that you're following paycheck to profit on instagram as well why would you ask i'll tell you because i am posting at least 2 to 3 new reels every week on instagram i am creating the community of the the biggest community of millennials and gen zs who want to unlock the abundance for themselves and be financially free and as i promised you this is not just an episode where i'm going to give you 5 points i'm going to give you total 10 points let me give you five more bonus points very quickly the rich always focus focus on the concept of contribution they always focus on philanthropy second they pay the best to the workforce and the team that they that are working with them why are the rich always the best pay masters think about it the rich tell their kids you want to save tax do not save tax in a illegal manner always build more businesses what is the thought process behind that the actual way that the rich actually get wealthier is not by building businesses but by actually selling their stake to the public during an ipo that's the fourth thing that the rich teach their kids the fifth you only get rich and financially free when you generate passive income now these five bonus points are so powerful so potent and so strong that they can be five individual episodes in itself so whatever point you want me to focus on make sure that you mention that in the comment section as well i read i literally want to have a conversation with you tell me your thoughts tell me what questions do you want me to answer for you and i'll go ahead and do that if you've enjoyed this episode i will very strongly recommend you to go and check the second episode of the series which was called five easy ways to avoid getting scam with money here the rich are getting richer and unfortunately the people who are working really hard are getting scammed for their money day in and day out i want you to save your money from getting scammed so make sure that you check that episode if you haven't done so already thank you so much for listening to this episode till the end i appreciate your commitment towards your personal and Uh, professional growth do support this podcast by liking this video if you're watching us on youtube and if you're listening to us on a podcast application do not forget to give us five hearts five stars five mics depending on the user interface of the application where you're listening to us make sure that you subscribe to the paycheck to profit channel on youtube and following paycheck to profit on instagram for more content do not forget to join the profit clan the clan literally feels incomplete without you i cannot wait to welcome you into the profit clan and Thank you so much for your time I really appreciate your company and I cannot wait to connect with you again on a new episode but until then please take good care of yourself keep smiling keep going keep growing